Yes, we go and then you panel right up. Um, yeah. Slack, I know. Yeah. Um, I, I was momentarily distracted. Can I tell you why? Why? Because I received an email, and I'm about to bring up some audio to play for you guys. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll just pause that and get that ready okay. to go. Okay. And the email read. Uh, hello, gents. I'm here working with Clive Robertson on 2UE, because Robbo's filling in doing our time slot on our sister station in Sydney. Right. And by accident of networking, we got some of your network stations from 8 o'clock this evening. So uh, Robbo thought he'd mention it on air. So our 2QN and 3NE, due to a slight mix-up with the oh. patching, are listening to Robbo tonight instead of us. Oh. So, oh, I thought you were going to... <clears throat> oh, right, okay. Yes. Oh, so okay. that, that's a shame. But, but he just spoke about it on air, so and I haven't listened to this, so do you want to hear it? Yeah. Okay. All right, okay. Here we go. Two uh, Five minutes tonight. We have our news coming up shortly. Uh, we've got some of, 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 of three AW's uh, um, stations, have we? Oh. That'll upset Bruce and Phil, won't it? Yes, we seem to be losing some stations to that person in Sydney. Oh, is that right? There you are. So how did you do that? Well, I listen to Bruce a lot on the internet, yes. <laughs> good on you, Robert. Yeah, he did a very good you, but a lousy Phil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should link up with you, yeah, shouldn't we? I'll, I'll, yes, I'll see, if, I'll see if we can get a... I'll talk mm. to our texts and see if I can yeah. get a patch put That'd through. That'd be great fun. We could, we could eavesdrop on him. Well, what a group. No, what a, but, but have a chat. Yeah. Have, have a chat would be good. I, I don't know if technically to you, he'd be up to it. They're not mm. as gifted as Oh, I. well, no. no. <laughs> Actually, Robbo's a big fan of um, Nightline. Yeah. He listens constantly, but yeah. uh, we, we could almost take on Andrew McLaren, I think, at some stage of you have thought about doing Nightline nationally? No, I no. think we'll keep it nice and local and <laughs> lovely and very just Now listen, I, like our audience. I, I heard uh, on... We got a call now through to, live to our sister station in Sydney, 2UE. An old mate of ours is yes. on the air, Clive Robertson. Yeah. And he was laughing earlier as he accidentally stole our relay station, 2QN and 3 any Wangaratta. You got to be pretend, pretend to be somebody. Oh, who will I be? I don't know. Oh, Bruce of Melbourne or... Um... 2UE, Andrew speaking. Yes, hello. Uh, could I speak to Clive? Yes, most certainly. Um, Mask is calling? Bruce calling from Melbourne. Bruce, I'll put you up. A delightful name. His name was Daddy Longlegs. Thanks, Bruce. I'll put you on the line. Thank okay, you. On the front page, there's actually possums at Christmas okay. party. Can we talk there? A picture of the main street of Tamworth. Who is this? Hall and so forth. And what Smith, One of these lists. Carpenter, which of course is long gone. Yes. And all these kids in the street, thousands of them. And what did you say to the person you buy it from? Not worth much. I'll give you 50 cents for it. <laughs> <laughs> is that how it works? <laughs> now you, we, we, that's not a very good way to start. No, no it isn't. I was going to say, did they punch you, did they? <laughs> Just give me a weekly occurrence. Of course. What, I want to expect you. You answer your phone, this is what happens. Are you going to sling off at me every time I ring up with something? Well, would you rather do it with Bruce and Phil, would you? <laughs> <laughs> That's the second prize. No, they're a good bob. Um, now, we've got uh, Cathy here. Cathy wants to talk to you. Hello, Cathy. Hold on. No, Cathy. All right, we'll go to... Uh, hold on, we've got Bruce. Right. Yeah, no, no, it's not my fault. No, oh, no it never is. Bruce. You Hello. Here. Hello, Bruce. Hello, Clive. Hello, here's um, Rick. Rick, thanks to talk to you, Bruce. That's Clive. Uh, Rick. Oh, Rick. <laughs> Rick Milne. <laughs> I have the first edition of a phantom comic in my possession. What's that worth? Now, what, what are you doing horning in on my article? <laughs> a phantom comic number one edition, Rick Milne. This is a well, phantom call, Phil. Uh, Mick, uh. Oh, goodness, Rick. It's the whole club. Well, here's the funny part of it. The, the first phantom comic, number one, did not actually have the number. On it. That's right. It's a trick question. <laughs> <laughs> you are a tricky fellow, aren't you? <laughs> Clive, how are you? It's Bruce Mansfield, John Blackman, and, uh, well, getting into uh, Rick Mill's area with you, Clive. Oh, yes, well, the same thing doing it after midnight to dawn again. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and we heard your remarks before, too, Robinson. You're, you're, you are dead meat. <laughs> this is interesting, because Blackman, you and I used to do this many years ago, but didn't we, from two stations? Yes, with Pinky. Yeah, yeah. Well, when you used to be popular and enjoyed. <laughs> remember those, that, that <laughs> day? <laughs> yeah, oh, you're cruel but fair. <laughs> well, I remember you on 2GB Breakfast. You were good in those days, and then something went wrong. Oh, well, I, I did uh, many more time calls and uh, weather checks and call signs and Gary O'Callaghan, and they still sacked me, Clive. Well, by the way, there's a bloke up here who does a brilliant impression of Bruce. 
Oh, really? really? It's just, in fact, uh, uh, some Melbourne people rang up so good. They thought she, Bruce was dead. <laughs> <laughs> He's working in Sydney. It was so sweet, and we were slightly touched for a moment. Oh, isn't that lovely? I wonder, what, yeah. what is he, a newsreader or a sales executive? No, he's, he's a bit <laughs> derelict. He's not really he's out of the business now. Oh, oh a bit like, like Bruce. <laughs> did you guys on the subject of radio see that guy in Dunilquin who retired from doing breakfast yes. after 51 years? And, yeah, well, yeah. in actual fact, uh, he, he passed on, uh, Clive. He did? Yeah. Well, Paul, that's a way of retiring, uh, thank you. Well, yes. Well, Paul Dick's 50 years in yeah. that area, Daniloquin. And we go on uh, relay, Clive, to uh, 3&E Wangaratta and um, uh, to no, uh, Daniloquin. No, obviously got the latest memo, which was issued about 9.20 this evening, but accidentally they, a lot of them were taking this program and they've decided to leave you alone. <laughs> uh, well, that is disgusting. I've signed a contract to go into Daniloquin and uh, and uh, Noosa. <laughs> a bit of contra there, is that right, <laughs> Well, but no. What happened to your little mate, Bruce? Where is he? Oh, uh, now. Let me, just, just yeah. let me explain to you. I normally do this program and have done for many years on 3AW with uh, Philip Brady. Philip went to Hong Kong uh, this time two weeks ago. With one of his women? Uh, no, but was in a hotel uh, during a storm and, and, and hurricane in Hong Kong and thought he'd held onto a balustrade when, in fact, there was no balustrade there and, in fact, tumbled down 35 marble stairs to a restaurant downstairs in the in the. Bay and broke a hip. Uh, oh, his okay. leg is being examined and also for... Um, for uh, well, lacerations. Lacerations. Head injuries, yeah. So he's in a bad way in mm. Uh, mm. Oh, the Hong Kong hospital. I did not know. Yeah. No. no. Uh, I like him. Yeah. Oh, you give him such a rough time, but I like him. Yes. So he's going to be okay? Yeah. I hope so. I really do. He's brighter every day, and we're yeah. going to speak to him very soon. Would you uh, say hello to him from me? Right? Yes, yeah. I will, Clive. Sorry, what was that, Rick? I'm really enjoying this. This is terrific. Rick, <laughs> Rick. Lovely time here. Rick, you... J J Rick, yes, Rick. <laughs> just take your Donald Duck and go home. <laughs> Rick. Oh, uh, look, I'm sorry, I slightly flippant. I yeah. just wonder where he was. Yeah, anyway. no, no. And Rick, I'm, 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 I've got an old relic here. Of <laughs> Don't you dare speak <laughs> of it. <laughs> I just wonder if you could date him. <laughs> All right, we'll have, probably have to go back to the normal commentary oh, position because right. Rick's getting a bit itchy. Yes, so yeah, if right. we keep this up, he might not end up on your program yes. uh, to dawn, which might work out. And good good yes. night, Clive. Good, good night, Rick. Good on you, Clyde. Thank you very much. To hear from you. Thank you too, John. All the best, Rick. Right, good. Yeah. Rick. Yeah. They gone? Were they uh, getting a bit cheesed up? Oh, I don't know. Do you think? I've never liked him. Oh, no, don't say that. <laughs> Were they getting a bit cheesed up? Have a, can we have a listen? No, to, no, can we have a listen to see what they're saying about no, they've, us? They've hung up, unfortunately. Oh, have they? Oh. Yes. But no, no, Clive can be a bit. Uh... Oh well, yes. Yeah, well, we all can't. We, we all. Oh, yes, exactly. my word. Don't you look at me? This is the pot calling the kettle black. <laughs> Should I point out they do have access to our logger, so they can listen back? Uh, yeah, no, I'm not being. Uh, to do to no, I'm not being. Uh, no, I'm not accusing. No, you, hey, uh, Ernie Singley defence. Only joking. <laughs> only joking. Yeah, that, that covers everything. Exactly right. Now, listen, we need. I do enjoy talking to Clive. Long time. I find it very easy. He's wonderful. Don't you? Yes. Very. Sonic, dusty, yeah, rusty old. Very droll. Very I used to, droll. Very I used to, Marubra, very bumper. Yeah, kind of thing, yeah. I used to love him on Newsworld. Yes, I, I did too. I think he was, was I think he was the best of those Newsworld mm, late yes. news send ups. Um, mm, yep. mm. Including Kennedy. Uh, I, I, I climbed yeah, a funny was, little. I think he had some little foibles with him, yeah, and he used to do fun, put in these funny little remarks at the end of a news yeah. item. I thought, yeah, that's so true, because yeah. he's a very good observer of human nature and stuff too. like that. He but was. Uh, yeah, but uh, the good talent, and, and it's nice to see he's still working. Okay.